I could take everybody to the ground, but you still think I exaggerated a bit. And I think I downplayed it a bit. You know, in the video I showed me picking up a bag and throwing it down to show and make it understandable what it feels like to be thrown on the floor. But in reality, it doesn't take nearly as much. If you just so much as trip somebody, you just trip them and make them fall, it's most likely the end of the fight. I remember vividly one situation where I had one, he was, I was working on the door as a bouncer and I, he was trying to get in somehow and there was a fight uh, and suddenly he stabbed one of my co-workers uh, in the throat with a glass, right? And then he took off. But luckily I was able to get him, right? And all I did was from the side, take an underhook, like under one arm and the head from the back and then make him do a forward roll on the pavement, just a forward roll. I just wanted to take him down so he stops running. Floop. He was there, laid out flat, did a move. Second later, other coworker came, you know, and I like beat him to a pulp, but that's another story. But it really surprised me that such a clean, friendly takedown already took him out. Just because of not knowing how to fall and to concrete, that was, that was already enough, right? And other times I was just, I don't even have to lift them up as much. Maybe you're right about that. I exaggerate the lifting because I don't need to lift you. If you're standing, you're high enough. Your head is like one meter 80 off the floor, like almost six foot or whatever it is. It's off the floor of your head. So making the head fall down from that height it's already crazy dangerous. It's crazy dangerous. So even usually my main concern when making people fall on the floor is to not injure them too gravely. Because usually it's just like, you know, some people with maybe they're on drugs or alcohol, they have psychological problems. There are some weirdos with an IQ of 80 and less. And they're a bit like kids behaving badly, usually. So I just make them fall a bit to stop them, to make them stop and come to their senses and then make the police pick them up. And it really usually is just so much as tripping them. That's enough. If you trip and fall, it's usually the end of the fight. That's it. Especially if I block your hands and make you fall a bit uncomfortable. So yes, maybe I exaggerated. I don't have to lift them. I don't even have to lift. I just have to make them fall, make them trip, and that's...